Hello, cost of living crisis. It's all over the news and all over our lives. We can see that the basic necessities of life have gone up very sharply. Food has gone up. Fertilizers for farmers have gone up sharply. All the energy costs have gone through the roof. To fill up your tank now is uh, 100 euro for your car. Uh, for a tank of petrol, it's unbelievable. But how did we get to this inflation and cost of living crisis? Goods have continued to go up. We have inflation. Why do we have inflation? Let's ask a question. What has happened over the last number of years that has given this over 8% inflation? Do you see there in the last month, the consumer price index for Germany has gone up 33%. That is absolutely frightening. And the Germans have a historical previous rendezvous with hyperinflation before. And it doesn't come good, which they had in, I think, the late, in the 30s and stuff. Uh, it led to the growth of both communism and fascism in, uh, in Germany. It goes to political extremes. But anyway, down to business. Why do we have inflation in Ireland? Primarily, the primary cause, uh, and it's not unique just to Europe because they also had in the in the US, is that uh, we've had a tsunami of cheap money printed by the ECB. That is the Frankfurt-based and EU institution, which controls the EU Central Bank. It has been on a splurge of printing uh, digital euro for for years now uh, so it is there's been low interest rates in the eurozone to help uh, countries in many recession over the last number of years and of course during the lockdown uh, the ECB was printing lots of money and also national governments were pumping all this money, like for instance, for example, in Ireland, all these pub payments to people who were basically on, told they were not allowed to work to earn money, and the government paid, for example, some bars and pubs were getting 5,000, I believe, I'm not sure it was it per month or per week, but they were getting a lot of money from the government to let people sit at home and that means that there was a more money in circulation and the same amount of goods or even less goods so more money chasing less goods means there's price increases which means inflation for example in fuel uh the green the government in power at the minute has stopped giving out licenses for gas and oil exploration in the seas around Ireland. This is very stupid because now because of the sanctions which were supposed to be in Russia which are really hurting countries in Europe, uh, oil prices and gas prices have gone up and of course people are feeling uh, a bit of, with a bit of tax price gouging going on as well. People are feeling this at, uh, at the pumps and of course almost half of the cost of fuel that we put in our car tank actually goes on taxes to the government. So the government could very easily reduce the cost of living crisis by one, reducing VAT or cutting VAT on fuel. Sadly for Ireland, we can only do that if we're out of the European Union because the EU insists that we keep uh, VAT rates high and also for the few times that we are allowed to reduce the VAT that we must seek and gain permission from the European Commission, which is ridiculous. So, if we were allowed to reduce VAT on fuel, for example, we would help the cost of li living crisis. Two, you have also, as I said, we have carbon tax on petrol, on diesel, on heating oil, all these things which produce carbon. The Irish state, the Irish government, sorry, has brought in legislation in 2001 that 
Climate Action Bill uh, no, Act, which has uh, increased taxes on not only farming, but also fuel. And you'll note, basically, it's only the rural independent group which has consistently voted against the carbon tax and all these taxes on rural life and things like fuel. Uh, people before profit, or as I called it before, people be before puberty, because their ideas are so childish that they're like uh, what you would hear in a student's union. And also Sinn Féin both supported the Climate Action Bill, which led to a large increase in carbon tax. So they, those two parties were also in favour of the lockdown over a period of two years, which, which damaged people's ability to earn a living. It also made ordinary people more dependent on the state because they weren't allowed to work in a free market and earn a living and be free people independent of the state. No, they were made by the lockdown dependent on the state. And of course, left-wing politicians, like people before Prophet and Sinn Féin love studies like it. So it was a bit of a surprise and hyper-hypocritical for the, the, these two parties, the people before Prophet and Sinn Féin, to be having a cost-of-living crisis march because, well, those two partners, parties were very much, along with Fianna, Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil, Green Party, etc. They were very much behind the government agenda of increasing taxes, increasing public spending, increases, for example, carbon taxes, uh, which have pumped up inflation. They are, they, all these peoples are in favour of uh, having our interest rates and our currency controlled from Frankfurt and also our money supply controlled by the ECB. So all these parties which support Euro membership so have uh, supported inflation and they will bring and they are part of the cause why we have a cost of living crisis. So the Irish Freedom Party, we want a smaller state, we want to reduce taxation, we want to reduce VAT sharply on fuel and we believe long term that these uh, economic choices uh, help the Irish, would help the Irish economy, they would reduce the risk of inflation and they would help ordinary Irish people live better lives. Now inflation is like a tax on those who are light on assets. So unless you, for people who own property, who own houses, who own lots of goods that can be sold in the market, uh, inflation helps them because the prices of the assets go up. But if you're dependent solely on your living a wage and you don't have assets, well, what you possess, i.e. your wage, uh, buys less as time goes on. So inflation is very damaging to ordinary working people and it's them that it really, really hurts. So my name is Herman Kelly. I'm president of the Irish Freedom Party and I'd like you to join the party, support us, tell your friends about our policies and tell them that our party has the policies to reduce inflation and to long-term stop the, the cost of living crisis. Thank you very much. Gora Margaret.